Kitty won't play. Now, now, don't lose your patience so quickly, little kitty. Even the real airplanes you see today won't build in a day. Really? Absolutely. Great inventions take time, trials, and a little imagination. So come on, let's take a historic flight and explore the story of the invention of airplanes. Zoom in. For as long as humans have watched birds sweep across the sky, we wondered, what if we could fly too? This dream, as old as history itself, sparked centuries of curiosity, inspiring ancient heroes who strapped on wings and leaped from towers. Efforts that, unfortunately, often ended in disaster. Still, the dream persisted, and in the 15th century, even the brilliant Leonardo da Vinci tried his hand at flight by sketching flying machines that resembled modern helicopters and gliders. But his designs remained on paper, ingenious but untested. It wasn't until 1783 that someone finally left the ground when the Morgolfier brothers of France launched the first manned hot air balloon. Crowds watched it all as humans floated above Paris for the first time. But balloons could not be steered. They drifted wherever the wind blew and controlled flight remained a distant goal. The next big leap came in the early 1800s when a British engineer named Sir George Cayley studied the forces of lift and drag. He built gliders that could carry people short distances. In 1853, one of his gliders successfully flew a passenger across a small valley, a quiet milestone, but a crucial one. Then in the 1890s came Otto Lienthal, a German pioneer of flight who built gliders and flew them himself, recording detailed data on wing shapes and air resistance. After thousands of flights, he became known as the Glider King. His research laid the groundwork for powered flight. But in 1896, an unfortunate crash took his life. His final words were, Sacrifices must be made. Though he was gone, his dream crossed the ocean and found its way to two bicycle mechanics in Dayton, Ohio. Orwell and Wilbur Wright weren't scientists, but they had something just as powerful. Relentless curiosity. They began building gliders of their own and even constructed a homemade wind tunnel to test wing shapes. Through experimentation, they discovered how to control an aircraft's movements, left and right, up and down, using a method they called wing warping. Finally, on a cold, windy morning of December 17, 1903, near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Orwell Wright climbed aboard a fragile, engine-powered craft called the Flyer. It lifted into the air, flying for just 12 seconds and 120 feet. But it changed the world forever. From that moment, Progress accelerated, airplanes became sturdier, faster, and more reliable. By World War I, they were tools of war. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh completed the first solo non-stop flight across the Atlantic. And by the 1930s, commercial planes were carrying passengers across continents. Today, planes deliver aid defend nations and make our world feel smaller. But behind every jumbo jet is a story that began with feathers 
sketches and an impossible dream. The invention of the airplane isn't just a story of machines. It's a story of the human spirit. One that refuses to stay grounded when the sky is waiting. Trivia time! Did you know the tiny hole in airplane windows is called a bleed hole and serves a crucial purpose? Yes, it helps balance the air pressure so the window doesn't break and doesn't get foggy. And to know how planes fly, check out our video on the same. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Scarlett Harris. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Wow! This one is flying like a real plane. How did you manage that? Good boy! Ah, <laughs> uh, well, never mind.